Here's a pair of words I often see confused. Sheer with two E's and sheer with an A. So what's the difference and how can you remember to always use the right one? Well, probably the first thing to say is that nine times out of ten, the word you're looking for is sheer with two E's because it's got several meanings. Sheer with an A is generally only used in one sense. So let's get that one out of the way. Sheer with an A means to cut. For example, the farmer sheared his sheep each spring. In other words, the farmer trimmed the wool from his sheep. Now, you'd use this spelling too to talk about a set of garden shears, and that gives us a way to remember this meaning of shear. The A in shear looks like a set of garden shears. So, unless you're referring to something being cut, you should always use shear with two E's. Let's look at some examples. Shear with two E's has a variety of meanings. Let's look at the most common. First of all, it's used to describe material that's thin and delicate. For example, the sun was shining through the sheer curtains. In other words, the curtains were diaphanous. Now, you might also use it of something that's extremely steep, almost vertical. For example, it was a sheer drop over the mountainside. But probably the most common use of sheer is as an intensifier, meaning something like utter, complete or extreme. For example, we met by sheer chance. In other words, it was a total chance that we met. Or, as a student, I was overwhelmed by the sheer weight of people's expectations. In other words, I was overwhelmed by the huge weight of people's expectations. So there you go. Remember those garden shears in the shape of an A, and use shear with an A if, and pretty much only if, you're talking about cutting something. For all other uses, plump for shear with two E's. I'm Dr Claire Lynch of Doris and Bertie. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and share it with your friends.